nobody else but you Ooh, I, I, I know you don't want to wait for me hey, They say you should stay away from me no way. Yo, what's good, SC fam? Your boy Stax is in the building And your girl, Chrissy And today... We letting off a few things off our chest. Yeah. This this I feel like this is something every relationship needs to do. We just so happen <laughs> to be doing it on camera. But just know this was my idea. Okay. Nah, well, got, what, what, do you, what do you what do you what are you trying to say? I got a lot of stuff to get off my chest. Anyway, today's video will be us talking about three things we dislike about each other. Now, we're not trying to keep it all negative. So at the end, we're gonna name some things. Well, we're gonna name three things that we do like about each other. You know what I'm saying? So you can't leave it off on a, on like, a negative note. You feel like. me? You gotta bring it back pop. Uh, <laughs> I'll play it. You gotta bring it back positive. Now, this is where the the, the fun part begins because I'm going to sit here and listen to something that Crystal don't like about me. Right. So, Chrissy, what is the thing number, thing number one that you dislike about me? And trust me, I'm going to defend every one of these things to the bone, right? Okay. You should love everything about me, but no, let's go. There's a, a lot of stuff I don't like about you. Okay. Why what's the, dislike? Oh, uh, what's the first one? Okay, the first one is I don't like when I'm cleaning up. Okay. And you decide that you want to come downstairs or wherever I'm at just to give me a kiss, interrupting my little like space. Hold up. Like if I'm determined to do Hold something, up. I want to continue doing. I don't want to stop so I can give you a kiss. Hold up. So basically, she said she dislikes when I show her my love no. and affection. That's not what at I said. random moments throughout the day. Listen, me, I'm I'm a random person. Like Chrissy said all the time, you never know what I'm gonna do. You never know what you're gonna get out of me. So sometimes I just be up here, you know, I be playing Fortnite, I be playing 2K, and I just think, well, he damn, no. I really, yo, chill out. I'm trying to make a sentimental moment right okay, now. Okay, go ahead. So like I said, I be playing Fortnite or 2K, that's it, or Madden sometimes. And I be thinking, I'm like, man, I really love my wife. Right. So I would have to go see her sometimes, give her a hug and a kiss. And she don't like that. No, now he lying. She don't like that. He would know that I'm cleaning up and he'll just come and mess with me look, because look. He, th he figures because I'm cleaning up, oh, you know, let me go show her. I don't fucking know. Look, I'm going to say this last thing. I'm going to say this last thing. We're going to keep it moving, annoying. okay? Whenever Crystal is cleaning up, she always makes a big deal out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, in my zone. I said, I'm going to say this last thing. I'm in my zone. But anyway, like, I don't want to be interrupted. Anyway, like I was saying, she always make a big deal out of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. And so I come to her, just try to relieve a little bit of stress off of her by coming show her some love. Let her know that we appreciate you cleaning mm -hmm. for us. So that's what I be trying to do. That's but not how that now works. I see that you don't like it. So let's get to the things I don't like about you. Thing number one, I do not like... When you ask me to do something more than once. Do you what, do it? What, what I mean by that is this. And, and a lot of guys will understand where I'm coming from with this. Whether it's with your girl, your wife, or even your mom, your sister sometimes. Or your side chick. We don't do side chicks over here, okay? We not you that, don't. We not that other couple, You okay? don't. You said guys. We not that other couple. We don't, we don't do side chicks. Anyway, so like I was saying, so funny. Uh, I, I really am, but whatever. So like I was saying, um, you don't even know what you were saying. Could you maybe forget? You keep no. stopping me and whatnot. Oh, like I was saying, like y'all ever had a situation, right? This this is just an example. This actually happened with us, where where like your mom, your girlfriend, whatever, she'd be like, "Can you take out the trash?" Or you'd be like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it." You don't have to come to me ten minutes later to ask me to take out the trash again. When I say I'm gonna do it, that means I'm going to do it. That don't mean I'm gonna do it at that exact moment, but I'm going to do it. You don't have to ask me to do something more than once. It yes, like, I do. Because after let me that, tell why. Look, listen, hold no, on. Let me just say one more thing. No, you don't get to say one more thing. Feeling like you're nagging no, me and it start getting because annoying. Because I can tell him to do something and then he won't do it, right? And then the next day will come and he still won't do it. How many times have I asked you to take the trash out? What have ever gone to the up, next shut, day? Be quiet. How many times have I ever? How many times have I asked you to take the trash out and you forgot to take <laughs> it out <laughs> that <laughs> night after I just told you? Never. I would happened. literally go to sleep and then the trash don't get taken out and it only gets picked up once a week here. So it's yeah, like, all right, come on. All right, so that probably happened once or twice. No, how many times have you asked me to take the trash out and then it actually got done? A oh, million. Wait, hold on. A million. A million. And then, million, and then he can million, take the trash out, million, but he don't. Million, he don't come upstairs to take million, the trash out the bathroom. Oh, you look. All right, man. Let's just go to the next. This is gonna be the next thing. That's how you are. You don't. 
telling lies. Now you're telling lies. You take all the trash out? Yes, I do. You're telling lies. Let's go to your next one. Okay. But now that's probably going to be my next one when she tell lies for no reason. Go ahead. Tell you. Tell. What else? What else you don't like about me? Okay. The other thing I don't like is when he comes in the shower. I'm comes in the shower. When I'm in the shower and he comes in without knocking and Ooh. scares the shit out of me. Ooh, hey, I listen, don't like that. You call that something you don't like. I just call it a good time. You feel me? Hey, okay. you know, it is what it is. That, I mean, that right there. And I will be waking you up after sleep tonight, though. For what? Like, you know what? Like, why do women do this? <laughs> because. Like, I not... scare her in the shower so she gotta wake me up. <laughs> Like, where's the correlation? Like, why would you... What's the definition of that word? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, thing number two that I don't like about you, okay? When you interrupt me from doing something that I... Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> thing number two, thing number two, interrupting me from doing something so that I can care about what you're talking about when I'm already doing something. Well, example, you already know, I come with them examples, right? Like I'll be I'll be watching something or I'll be reading something and she'll know that I'm watching something and I'm reading something and I'm focused on it and then she'll try to come and start having a conversation with me while that's going on. That that's is true. very annoying. It's like dog, do you even care about what I'm doing? Let me let me let me tell you. Let because me. whenever she watches TV and I come in the room and I want to talk to her about something, she'll be like, babe, I'm watching my show. Babe, I'm watching TV. But when I don't, I don't, I don't say babe, I'm watching TV. When I'm reading something, it's not but important. No, right? no, it's no. It's not important, though. No. But, 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 but what you got? And then she always says, babe, guess what? I, I, I bought two pack of crackers for a dollar <laughs> today. And I'm sitting here trying to read something important. <laughs> Wait. No, you lying. Let me tell y'all. So, I forget things a lot. So, if I don't tell you right then and there, I'm going to forget. And then I'm going to be mad that I forgot what I had to tell you. So, I'm just going to tell you right then and there and get it over with. And I don't care. I'm a chatterbox because my mother and my dad is a chatterbox. Woo! So, you get on the phone with her dad, is. boy, you're going to be on there for like three days. I promise you. It is you're going to be on there for three days. So go to your number three since we're talking about three. I think my number, number three is like your number one. What is it? <laughs> I don't like when I ask him to take the trash out and he... And he never does it and then gets mad that I'm mad. No, hold on, hold on. Yes, you do. Since we're on the topic of getting mad when you're, <laughs> yo, I swear. <laughs> and this relationship, in this relationship, it's like I am a, I am not. <laughs> this is funny, but it's not funny. In this relationship, I am not allowed to be mad, okay? Because if, <laughs> because if I'm mad, she just get mad out of nowhere at me. I don't. I'll be like, yo, I'm mad. Like, only one person can be mad at a time. So when I'm mad, you got to come to me First and find out what's wrong. What are you mad about? Dude. I don't know. I'm not mad right now, so that doesn't count. Well, but anyway, we're going to move forward. We don't got time to be talking about all that extra stuff. We're only talking about what's on the list. And what's on the list... <laughs> I'm on the list... This is about to be so petty, right? But I hate when you ask me too many questions. <laughs> like, I hate, yo, one thing is like, and the same thing goes for you. We both have problems with authority. Like, we don't like being told what to do. Neither one of us like feeling like someone is trying to be our boss, right? Right. You, you're the same yeah. way as me, right? Yeah. So I do not like when she asks me a He's bunch of questions. Like, it's so annoying. Like, stop asking me so many damn questions. Like, I don't like... Re like Again, the thing I is, talk a lot, so I'm going to ask a, a lot, lot of questions. Of, a lot of things I put up with her, I would never put up with another person on this earth. <laughs> like, I would never on this earth put up with. I'm going to say, but with her, on my crown, like, right there. But with her, I put up with a lot of things. But she really asked too many questions. Like, you think so? Are you nosy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, she's I'm very no. I, I, I was nosy. hoping you said no. I was hoping <laughs> your nose could grow like Pinocchio. Nah, I was hoping you said. I don't need my nose to grow. No look, look, enough, for, enough for all of this arguing and beefing, baby. Let's let's start getting to things that we love about each other. All right, you go first. Uh, I'm going to go first on this one. Okay, I, okay, okay. I like the way you're doing that. Okay, let's get it. So, the first thing I love about you. I love the fact, and y'all probably, probably noticed this a lot on camera. One thing that I love about you and I loved about her from the beginning is that I feel like our personalities really match each other. I feel like, like my personality is way better than yours. Whatever, but I feel like our personalities really match each other and that like that helps us get along so much because more than anything, I feel like we're really great friends. Like we laugh around with each other all the time. We joke around with each other all the time and it's just like it's always fun. Like every time I'm just just chilling yeah. with her, it's always fun. And I feel like our personalities are the main reason for that because we get along so well. We're always yes. laughing at the same stuff. Like like me and Chrissy got that relationship. Like 
we could see somebody out that's looking tacky or looking funny, <laughs> and she'll give me that look, and then I'll look too, and I'll start laughing, and we both start Especially laughing together. Especially here in Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> every day. So we both will start laughing with every each other, day. so I feel like our personality. Every day. My favorite things about this relationship, baby. Okay. Go ahead, rain that, rain that praise on your boy. Go ahead, drizzle it on me. Well, I feel like mine is the same thing as yours. Go I said, <laughs> what I like about Ramel is he's literally the guy for me. We get each other so easy. <laughs> it's easy for me to talk to him and understand everything. See, that, that's good. That's just, that just goes to show. Uh, and mind you, we wrote these separate, so we don't know what each other wrote. Yeah. So. Like that goes to show, yeah, right? That's, that's what, <laughs> it goes to show that our personalities is just so fun. We are the same. It's just so cool. We are one in the same. One in the same and three in the same at the same time. All right, my thing number two that I love about you. I love how you generally, gen, generally, genuinely okay. love to be around me. Mm. And when I say that, it's like sometimes, like, Chrissy will come around me and I try to flex, like, I ask, like, why are you always up under me? But I'm really saying that because I like it. You know what I'm saying? You do? Yeah, I like when you're up under me. It's cool because I like, because like I, because it's a lot of people in this earth, and I'm pretty sure you have friends that later on you figured out was like not real friends to you. Oh, definitely. You know what I'm saying? And to find somebody that really enjoys just being around you, like really, like cause that's when you know somebody really likes you when they just like being around you, and that's you like what, being around you. So I know you that's, really that's love That's what I crave. Boy, I crave feel. attention from him. Ooh. And what do you crave from me? My mom peace. Woo! Woo! -hoo. Hey, I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm right. She okay. right. <laughs> but okay. thing number two, what do you love? What do you love about me? What do I love about you? What do you love about me? I love how you always tell me how beautiful I am. Oh yeah. How beautiful I am, even oh, yeah. when I don't think so myself. Oh yeah. And you know. Listen, but me. Like, like he literally, like I can literally like. Take this wig off and be like, yo, I don't not look like like my face right now. I don't like this mark. I don't like this mark. And he's like, can you stop talking about yourself? Like I don't like when he, like he instantly gets mad as fuck. Like, listen, that's my baby, and I don't like nobody talking about her, even herself. So I, I get <laughs> I get mad. I, I really get defensive about her. I love her so much, and yeah, she's very beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Your boy I mean, lucked I just up. Think I'm right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Your boy lucked up on something fresh and so clean, clean, so shiny, so mean, mean. But let's get into this last thing that I love about you. One thing I love about you, and this goes back, you know, like to my birthday. You know what I'm saying? But one Which thing one? I love, my recent birthday. Okay. One thing I love about you. That you, you know, no matter how much you may kick and scream, you are always willing to try new things. <laughs> <laughs> you are always willing to try new All things. Right, we ain't gonna Whether break. that be, you know, just anything. everyday life. Yeah, anything. Or and we gonna keep it private down. and personal life. <laughs> I love that you're always willing to try new things. No matter how tough those things may be. Can we not? How difficult, or in that case, how? Anyway, I ain't gonna discuss it, but just know. Okay. Just know. I love that about you, girl. You know what I'm saying? You got me sprung, girl. I sprung. How'd you get me? Got me doing things I never do. If you ain't sprung, I'm telling you I'm sprung. How'd you get me? All right. My last one, or why I love him. And adore him so much. Okay. That's All right. Weird. So Ramel, he's like very supportive of me, and like that is the, the that is the I don't even know what the word. I Feed them say. ears, baby. It's like the hardest thing. I don't even know how to explain it. Like he's just very supportive, and like given my history, like of certain stuff, like as far as me wanting to like lose weight or whatever, and I used to like buy so much stuff, and you know I gave up after like the fifth, not even fifth, like second day or something like and like it i want to just get stuff that's like ten dollars and then like i would spend money on stuff and then like waste it and like he supported me through everything like if i wanted to do this thing or if i want to do that like he ain't had no problem like he might have talked to me you know i had problems with me but at the end he supported me through everything and i really appreciate listen that. man listen one thing that goes a long me. way not even just your relationship but in your regular life one thing that goes a long way is just knowing that you have the support of the people you love and the people around you, whether that's your family, you know, you're going through your school situation or, uh, you know, trying to find a job. Just having people just support you in, in any facets of your life is like you really support you, not like be like, yeah, I support you, and then, you know, that type yeah, of support. Yeah, support so. can go a long way, man. So. 
Whatever Chrissy is trying to do, whatever makes her happy, I try to support it as much as I can. Like she said, sometimes I do have a talk with her. You know what I'm saying? If we if if she suggests something and I see things a different way, I try to talk to her, you know what I'm saying? To let her know, like, your outcome may be this, but, you know, at the end of the day, I always do support my baby. Right. And I love my baby, and I want a little kissy kiss from the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, but those are some of the things we do hate about each other, and some of the things we do love about each other, right Would there, you man. Yeah, you did it. You did it pretty good. Look at my arm. You need to work on that. Anyway, man, if this is your first time watching the Stacks and Chrissy video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. You're not going to miss the fire videos we got coming real soon. Also, yeah. if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like on it, share, comment, do all of that dope stuff. And let us know what else y'all want to see. Do appreciate it. Yeah, like she said, let us know what other videos you want to see. And until next time, man, SE fam, what's, what's good? good, dog? Yeah.